Meg dumbfounded as Sir Trevor Phillips slams her for constructing ridiculous stories that no one believes. Today is Windrush Day, 75 years since 800 immigrants from the Caribbean stepped off HMT Empire Windrush to feel the chill of Tilbury Docks, the gloom of London's grey skies and an uncertain, often hostile reception. But Britain has come a very long way since 1948, and according to Sir Trevor Phillips, writer, businessman and former chair of the Equality and Human Rights Commission, we have plenty to celebrate. Most people would agree that we're not a discriminatory society, we're the most welcoming country in Europe and most of the world, he says. Britain isn't perfect, but it's a very different country to the place I was born in. Very different even to the country I became an adult in, even because everything has changed. Then Sir Trevor Phillips slammed Meghan Markle saying that no one cared about Meghan's ethnicity. She and Harry had a golden chance to make things different for millions and chose not to. That's unforgivable. He said there's a lot to be proud of in Britain which is why Trevor is still hopping mad with Harry and Meghan and all the self-indulgent silliness. They could have been a beacon of discovery and reconciliation, not just to Britain but the whole world, he says. Instead, they completely squandered a golden opportunity to show everyone what this country is really like. With regard to ethnicity, a country where no one disturbs themselves about a marriage across the lines of race and ethnicity, he adds, getting crosser and crosser. But they constructed this completely ridiculous and unpleasant story about how maltreated they were, which frankly, no one believes. No one cared about Meghan's ethnicity. They could have made things different for millions of people and they chose not to. That's unforgivable. In my book, it's a sin. Meghan and Harry didn't anticipate to be completely kicked out of the institution. They hoped to use the royal duties to elevate the profile and use that high profile to prop them up on the international stage. So they could be paid a lot of money for speeches, UN engagements, etc. The Queen took that away from them by rejecting half in, half out opportunity. The Harkles thought of themselves as way more interesting and talented than they truly were. They didn't anticipate that unless they were shitting on their families. No one cares about anything that they have to say. Meghan doesn't realise how basic her thinking and word salad truly are. They underestimated how much the royal family is truly loved. Even if people don't show it outwardly, they thought they were going to lie and trash them with no pushback. They didn't anticipate people to see right through the lies. Meghan's feminist ideals are completely out of step and truly old fashioned as are her simplified insights into structural discrimination. She's not an intellectual, she's not well-read, and her education stopped decades ago. She spouts a line of thinking that is wholly aligned with pop culture, and therefore cannot see simple things. She also bought far too many awards to be plausible. They're the most award-winning people on the planet. 